Hey everyone, and welcome. Today we're diving into a skill that's, while it's quickly becoming a must-have for just about everyone, how to master the art of the AI prompt. So let's get right into it. You have totally been there, right? You ask a question, you really need a solid answer, and what you get back is, well, it's generic, it's vague, and honestly, it's just not helpful at all. It's a frustration we've all felt in this new age of AI. You see, when you give the AI a blurry order like this one, you get a fast food result. I mean, sure, it's technically an answer, but it has zero substance, no depth, none of the specific guidance you were actually looking for. It's like you wanted a gourmet meal, but you never gave the chef a recipe. And that really gets to the core of it. The secret to unlocking the real power of AI isn't just what you're asking, it's all about how you ask it. A perfect prompt is just like a perfect recipe. It's got the right ingredients, and you combine them with the right technique to get something amazing. So let's start with our kitchen prep, what chefs call their mise en place. You know how they lay out every single ingredient before they even think about turning on the heat? That's exactly what we need to do. There are six essential ingredients to any powerful prompt. And notice how these ingredients just build on each other so logically. You start with a big picture, the context, then you get specific with the task. You add specificity to really sharpen the focus. You pick a format for the output, set the right tone, and then finally, you add any constraints. Layering these six things together is the foundation for a much, much better AI response. Okay, so we've got our ingredients, but a great dish isn't just about what you put in. It's about the technique, right? It's how a master chef combines everything. And that brings us to our prompting power-ups. First up is the one we all use by default, zero-shot prompting. This is when you just ask a straightforward question. No examples, no guidance. It's kind of like telling a chef, make me food. Yeah, you'll get something, but it's probably not going to be what you were imagining. Now, this is where things get way more powerful. With few shop prompting, you're not just telling the AI what you want. You're actually showing it. By giving it a couple of examples of what a good input and output look like, you're giving the AI a pattern to follow. You're basically guiding it toward the right answer. You can really see the difference here. On the left, a vague prompt. But on the right, the few shot prompt gives it concrete examples first, which effectively trains the AI in real time. You're structuring its thinking, and that leads to a far more focused and useful response. Okay, now for a real power move, chain of thought prompting. Instead of just asking for the final answer, you ask the AI to walk you through the process step by step. You know, first do this, then analyze this, and finally conclude with this. It forces the AI to show its work, and you get a much more reasoned, transparent output. This one is so simple, but it's incredibly effective. By telling the AI to act as an experienced scrum master or you are a CEO, you're tapping into a specific part of its huge knowledge base. The AI adopts that persona, and it totally refines its tone, expertise, and perspective to match that role. All right, you've learned the theory, you've seen the ingredients and the techniques, so now let's put it to the test with a quick little challenge. Can you identify which prompting techniques are in action here? Okay, let's break these down. That first one, describe how to facilitate. What do you think? That's a classic zero-shot prompt. Now the second one, as a scrum master, that's a dead giveaway for role-based prompting. The third one with that step-by-step -step structure, that's chain of thought. And finally, that 100-word limit is, of course, a constraint. So, how do you do? We have covered a lot, but now it is time for the single most powerful secret to crafting the perfect prompt every single time. This really is the one trick that changes everything. So what is this ultimate technique? How can you guarantee you're using all those powerful ingredients and techniques we just talked about, even when you're in a hurry? Here it is. The secret is to ask the AI to help you write the prompt itself. This is the meta prompt. You give it your messy first draft idea, and you ask the AI to rebuild it for you using those six essential ingredients we just learned about. Think about what's going on here. You're using the AI's own logic to improve your request. In short, you're asking the AI to help you help it give you a better answer. It's a simple, brilliant hack that forces you to be clear and guarantees a more powerful prompt. And that leaves us with one final thought to ponder. As we get better and better at prompt engineering, are we really just mastering a machine? Or are we actually mastering the art of structuring our own thoughts, being more specific, and communicating with more intention? 
maybe the true power of AI is that it's forcing us all to become clearer thinkers.